What's up, everybody? Meredith Circus Fell Training. It is a beautiful, hot, sunny day and an awesome day to do this pelvic floor workout. Pelvic floor, this is your pelvis, this is the pelvic floor. So if you have had kids, even if you haven't had kids, you're gonna wanna strengthen the pelvic floor because it not only supports the most important structure of your body, your spine, but it also helps you not pee your pants if you had two kids like me and you're jumping around a lot. So let's use pelvic floor workout together. As always, we're gonna walk through all the exercises and then do a workout together. All right, here we go. First things first, a primary movement, the squat. I know, it's tough. We're gonna do this together. Chest up, shoulders back, a little bit wider than your shoulders, okay? And I want you to put your hands together. And I want you to sit back into your heels. Sit back into your heels because I want you to use bigger muscle groups like your quads, back your legs, and the top, right? Your inner thighs. It's super important that you sit into your heels and your toes are almost up off the ground because that's gonna prevent knee problems. So if you're doing this, like, yes, my knees would hurt too, and yours probably do. You don't have to go down that low if you don't feel like you have balance, okay? Sitting, if you wanna hold onto a chair, you can do that too. And you wanna drive up. So we're doing squats, then we're gonna do a bridge. So bridge, it's like a hip press. We've done this before. We break it into the three steps. You roll, you tuck, and you push, right? So I'm rolling my tailbone under. So you see I'm rolling, tightening up my core, okay? I'm going to push and then I'm gonna squeeze. So now my butt is fired up, my inner thighs are fired up, and I am tight. Tight in your stomach. If you're not tight in your stomach and you're loose, your back's gonna fall down. So I want you to be tight because we're working on your core. The pelvic floor is part of this bigger core functionality here, okay? So you need to make sure it's tight when you're doing this or you're not, we're not doing the right exercise. Next is, we're gonna be in a tabletop position. When you extend your leg straight out, just kick straight back. So notice how I'm, I'm very much flexed in my arms and my hands are nice and wide when I'm doing this and I'm flexing my toes towards my fingertips because if you point, it's a different feeling. When you point, it's more your lower back. When you flex, it's more of your hamstring and your legs. Take your breath, same thing, same, same thing. Same thing, everybody, same thing. This happens when you're sweaty and hot and you don't have any water. So pushing back your leg, remember you're flexing back and you're gonna feel it in the hamstring we're going 15 seconds on each side. Then we're going into a bird dog. You guys are on the four, opposite arm, opposite leg, same tabletop, right leg straight, left arm straight, thumb to the sky, pointing your toes this time, okay? Then we're gonna drop and we're gonna switch. This one's super important that you're controlled and slow and intentional with your movements. Because if you're like this and you're all out of whack, you actually end up hurting yourself. So if it's too much, what you can do is start with right leg, down, left arm, down. Right arm, down, left leg, down. So you can roll it like that. Final exercise, a oh, little bit of cloud cover. <laughs> Dead bugs. You guys have seen these before. Very important that you take a breath, Keep your legs in this tabletop position. Don't let them rest, okay? You're gonna extend that right leg in the left arm, and then you're gonna switch. Okay, if you want a little bit more of your upper core, you can tuck your chin. Lower core, head down, but you must really ground your lower back. So I'm pushing in, okay? This way, ready? Just down straight like that, right? So we're really focused on moving your body as one. So as if you have a string, that when your leg goes down, it pulls your arm down too, right? That opposite side. Like you wanna make sure that it's succinct in that movement because if it's not, then we're not connecting all the pieces. It's so important. Part of the reason why all these exercises work so well is because they're intentional to move your entire body, not just one piece of your body. So those are all your exercises. Let's get into it. It's 30 seconds each, little to no break because this is more of a building strength workout, not a cardio workout. So first things first, squats for 30 seconds, get your water, get yourself together, wipe your sweat, pull up your shorts, pull down your shorts, whatever you need to do because we are starting in three, two, one, and squat down and press. Really intentional in this pressing. I want you to think about all on your legs and your butt. Breathing and press, down and press, down and press, good. And press, if you need to, come halfway. If you're good with those knees down, press all the way down. Keep those eyes up, press all the way back. Five seconds, four, three, 
two, one, down for the bridge, 30 seconds. The nice thing about this workout is it can wake you up, right? So big breath, 30 seconds starting right now. Roll, press, squeeze your legs together. When I say squeeze your legs together, I mean try to drive your knees together without actually touching your knees. Super important because your, your lower, sorry, your upper thighs, like your inner thighs will be super tight. And then you're gonna have that core super tight, hands maybe reaching for your heels, really feeling it in those hamstrings. Taking that breath and flexing the arms. So I'm, I'm relaxed and I'm flexed. If you flex everything, it's like you're working everything, right? So take that big breath, rotate your neck if you need to. Take that breath, five seconds, four, three, two, and rest. Take your time, you're on your back. Please do not pass out. Take as much time as you need to rotate, especially if you're on your back, especially if you're closing your eyes, okay? So now we're in that flex position. Take a big breath, flex that right toe back towards your fingertips. Flex, pulling the core. I'm going 15 seconds here and then we're gonna switch. So the key is here, pull in the core, flex the arms, okay? Focus on something out in front of you. And one, switch. Be very intentional about your movements. Slow it down if you need to. This is a building, we're not rushing through these. There's a time and a place to get that heart rate up because you're moving quickly. It should not be this one. It should be this one because you're really, like, really making sure that your body is tight and transition right in those bird dogs. Take a big breath, opposite arm, opposite leg, right and left together. Okay, you can move your hand right underneath your shoulder and then switch. Remember, you can do one at a time if you need to. But I want you to feel like you're solid before you move. Fingertips, toes. I'm super solid. I know that I'm moving my body as one unit as I do this. Because I don't want to be off center, right? Big breath. Coming to the end of our first round after these dead bugs. And let's do one more on the right side, and one more on the left side, okay? And then we're going right into dead bugs, okay? Take your time, flip over. Part of it's a transition too, right? These movements where you're down, moving in weird positions, so great for your body because it's just extra movement. You're not even trying to do that stuff. So 30 seconds dead bugs, and go. So you're just pulling in, being very intentional, not letting your legs rest against, sorry, your heels rest against your, your quads, your calves. I don't know if you guys just caught that. I said, don't let your heels rest against your quads. If your heels rest against your quads, there's a huge problem, people. That means your heel is touching your quad. Don't do that. <laughs> I meant your heels touch your hamstrings. Oh, that's funny. Uh, if I didn't say anything, what you guys think? Good, pull, <sighs> breathe, and breathe. Hold it. And legs down, take a breath, because we're standing up slowly, because we're about to get around two, we're gonna be doing squats. So I want you to take your breath, big breath here, pull down your shorts or pull up your shorts, pull up your pants, whatever you need to do, get some water. 10 seconds, big breath in, and we're going squats. Five, four, three, two, and squat, press. And press, really intentional in this pressing. I want you to think about all in your legs, in your butt, <sighs> breathing and press, down and press, down and press, good. And press, if you need to, come halfway. If you're good with those knees down, press all the way down. Keep those eyes up, press all the way back. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Down for the bridge, 30 seconds. The nice thing about this workout is it can wake you up, right? So big breath, 30 seconds starting right now roll, press, squeeze your legs together. When I say squeeze your legs together, I mean try to drive your knees together without actually touching your knees. Super important because your, your lower, sorry, your upper thighs, like your inner thighs will be super tight. And then you're gonna have that core super tight, hands maybe reaching for your heels, really feeling it in those hamstrings. Taking that breath and flexing the arms. So I'm, I'm relaxed and I'm flexed. If you flex everything, it's like you're working everything, right? So take that big breath, rotate your neck if you need to. Take that breath, five seconds, four, three, two, and rest. Take your time, you're on your back. Please do not pass out. Take as much time as you need to rotate, especially if you're on your back, especially if you're closing your eyes, okay? So 
Now we're in that flex position. Take a big breath, flex that right toe back towards your fingertips. Flex, pull on the core. I'm going 15 seconds here and then we're gonna switch. So the key is here, pull in the core, flex the arms, okay? Focus on something out in front of you. And one, switch. Be very intentional about your movements. Slow it down if you need to. This is a building, we're not rushing through these. There's a time and a place to get that heart rate up because you're moving quickly. It should not be this one. It should be this one because you're really, like really making sure that your body is tight and transition right into those bird dogs. Take a big breath, opposite arm, opposite leg, right and left together. Okay, you can move your hand right underneath your shoulder and then switch. Remember, you can do one at a time if you need to. I want you to feel like you're solid before you move. Fingertips, toes. I'm super solid. I know that I'm moving my body as one unit as I do this. Cause I don't wanna be off center, right? Big breath. Coming to the end of our first round after these dead bugs. And let's do one more on the right side and one more on the left side, okay? And then we're going right into dead bugs, okay? Take your time, flip over. Part of it's a transition too, right? These movements where you're down, moving in weird positions, so great for your body because it's just extra movement. You're not even trying to do that stuff. So 30 seconds dead bugs and go. So you're just pulling in, being very intentional, not letting your legs rest against, sorry, your heels rest against your, your quads, your calves. I don't know if you guys just caught that. I said, don't let your heels rest against your quads. If your heels rest against your quads, there's a huge problem, people. That means your heel is touching your quad. Don't do that. <laughs> I meant your heels touch your hamstrings. Oh, that's funny. Uh, if I didn't say anything, what you guys think? Good pull. Really nailing this one here. So important that you don't rush this workout. Big breath, three, two, one. Bring it in, take a big breath, sit up. And you're gonna sit up and you're gonna stand slowly if you need to, if you feel wobbly, take a second. But if you don't, make sure that you share this video right now. Make sure you leave a comment about your favorite exercise or what you're struggling with the most because it helps me be a better person and trainer and develop better programs for you. So make sure you share this, you like it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.